Last weekend, I returned to the Witte Museum in San Antonio to see a visiting exhibition of Wichol art. However, before I embark on examples, I begin today's video with another object in the museum. The body adventure wing features a touchscreen display of a life-sized human figure. Its interface features include cross-section imaging, keyword search, and organ filter. This display uses advanced CGI technology to brilliantly illustrate the inner body, a tool to promote health with the world within. And now this painting uses shamanic perception to brilliantly illustrate the inner body, a tool to promote health with the world beyond. The University of Pennsylvania was loaning a collection of works by Wichol shaman Jose Benitez Sanchez. Since the 1970s and until his death in 2009, he revolutionized Wichol art through the medium of colorful yarn. With beeswax, he bound these yarns into powerful images of Wichol spirituality. The Wichol, or Wixarica in their own language, inhabit the Gran Nayar, a mountain region in West Mexico, highlighted in red. Although the ethnic group is fairly small, their arts and culture are among the most visible for any indigenous society in Mexico. Traditionally, they made an annual pilgrimage to the desert of Iricuta, their mythical homeland, to collect peyote cactus for mystical vision. The yellow circle locates this desert area. The Huichol have depicted the spiritual beings and intense schemes from these visions into art, and this video will focus on the yarn painting medium. Loosely translated to mean image, the word nierica is derived from the Huichol word for sight. Often made to represent the realities of the worlds beyond, the nierica focuses that vision in order to bridge the planes of the seen and unseen. It is an attempt to depict a static snapshot of an ever-shifting experience, one that is constantly fluid yet symmetrical. Because the peyote experience is inherently religious, so are most of the themes. Myth, ritual, and the spirit world prevail. The Flood is one of the most familiar tales from Huichol mythology. At center is the man Watakame, who escaped to a boat to survive the inundating rains, portrayed above as descending serpents. The dog companion will turn into a woman whom he marries to repopulate the earth. Below the scene is a standing goddess Takutsu Nakawe, who had warned Watakame to take the boat. Her name is commonly translated as our great grandmother growth. Indeed, kinship terms are frequent among the Wichol divinities. Examples include Mother Earth, Older Brother Deertail, Our Grandfather Fire, and Our Father Son, whom we will see further ahead. Lavish ceremonial scenes frequently appear. Notice the abundance of candles all over the scene. Deer imagery also prevails because the deer relates to both the sacred homeland and the creator god Older Brother Deertail. Peyote is present as a spotted green disc at upper right, and a shaman is seated at bottom center. Temples are shown as well. A fundamental concept in Native American religion is that the world of human perception is but one of many, multiple dimensions each inhabited with a distinct population of supernatural beings. Gods, ancestors, and spirits that in Huichol are collectively called cacao yadite. These realms are inaccessible in daily register, yet they and their denizens appear in altered states of consciousness, such as those that come through dreams or peyote. Interaction with the beings and powers of other worlds in these states is the definition of shamanism worldwide. Here is an important difference between attitudes toward drug use from Western and traditional Native perspectives. The former condemns drug use because it promises a dangerous, addicting escape from reality. The latter reserves drug use for moments to better understand reality with penetrating vision. Returning to our CGI model, shamanism is the original augmented reality. This massive elaborate yarn painting is at the National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City, and it is a masterpiece of Jose Benitez Sanchez. Vibrant details of the supernatural beings governing the natural world fill every space in this complex scene by Sanchez, bringing us to today's mask. Returning to the exhibition at the Witte Museum, today's mask comes to us as the facial decorations that identify Tayaupa, father-son, 
in the center of this miniature by Benitez Sanchez. It portrays the sun god's first rising from a volcanic pit near the desert homeland of Uidikuta, indicating that this is a mythical scene, such as the flood image we explored earlier. The sun's radiant yet eccentric face astounds the surrounding gods, a mask so powerful even the gods must do a double take. Look at their astonishment! Even though the peyote experience is profoundly personal and individual for the Huichol, they interpret it through shared symbolic beliefs. The sun god can thus be distinguished through commonly recognized elements such as those adorning his painted mask. Thank you for watching and good roads!